don't Welcome know to the show! Hi! Hey, that. Hi. Do you guys actually enjoy dick pics? I... I don't. I, don't, I, I love... I, I love dick pics. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry, penises aren't pretty. <laughs> They're not. Welcome, Peter. Hi, everybody. Um, anything else? <laughs> yeah, come on, Jeff. <laughs> oh my god. There's actually so much else. So... <laughs> I'm just so trippy right now. Yeah, are you are you literally exactly. trippy right now? <laughs> Hello. Good morning, Shannon. How Hi, are Shannon. you? Oh, and they call me a oh no! <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Shane, but when I watched it, I was laughing because I remembered that was more dialogue that you wrote about. Yeah, I wrote the script. I was like, Jesus. Wow. Let me introduce you to one of the masters of horror, Todd Farmer. Welcome to the show, my friend. And there was a picture from that camp that keeps circulating. We look lovely. <laughs> I'm ready. I don't this. know about if <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, <laughs> I looked yes. loved out, and that was talent night, guys. So we all had to sing or do something. So I sang with the band. We had a live band there. Joining us tonight is Bonnie Tonic, a stripper and sex show performer who loves her work and feels that it is empowering for women. Also tonight we have Jenny Ketchum, author of I Am Jenny who shares her experiences as former porn star, Penny Flynn. When you're in your 30s and your marriage ends, your businesses go, and then you adopt kids on your own without your husband, honey, and then you find yourself single, and you got yeah. man boobs, yeah. it ain't cute, right? Like I lost a bunch of it, started dating, and there was some nice, but I'm like, I just don't care. I don't really like men right now. So I'm kind of like anti-dating, so it's all right. You know, I don't mind it. Yeah. Like, when it's time for dick again, then it's like, I'll lose the weight. Because I'm like the gay Kirstie Alley, right? Like, you but you know, know what, what I think is going to happen? I think that there is somebody in this world who is going to... No, because I won't fuck with fat people either. You know what I mean? So <laughs> Well, I know, because you won't fuck with yourself. Right. So I won't fuck with a fat dude. If you start to fuck with yourself, then maybe you'll fuck with some other people who have, like, regular person-sized bodies, too. <laughs> there you go. It's a good love. Oh, and he hit live just day. as you were doing that, Catherine. Oh, he's oh. so dirty. He did it yep. dirty. And we're live. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Maybe stand out. Yeah. And I'm like, no, yeah. I'm sure Nicole Kidman didn't do that. But anyway. Absolutely. Um, she did BMX Bandit, so, so she made some bad oh, choices. Yeah, she sure <laughs> did. It's nice. It's unusual. It's different. Hello. Hello. How are you, Lisa? <laughs> Hot. <laughs> hot. You look I hot to tonight. Here. Lisa has done conventions for a while, so I had to make her feel at home, you know. I'm sure you see seven <laughs> you see seven thousand of me every time. I'm gonna fangirl out a bit because Alice Johnson is like one of my go to girls for um, for horror. <laughs> big, big, big fan. I'm here with the fabulous Nicole Remini. Girl, how you doing? I'm good, baby. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm better now that you're here. You are the best, I tell you. I freaking love you. I love you more. <laughs> Let's just do this for the whole hour and just tell each other how much we love each other. Yeah. Love each other. <laughs> we'll just do that. It'll be fun. Nicole, do you think, um, like I want to ask, do you think Scientology really targets and wants to bring in people with influence and money? 100%. Because you know. Yeah, what? because you know you don't hear about like the the homeless guy down the streets, a Scientologist, too. No, he can right. afford it, and they wouldn't give it to him for free. So that's the, you know that's you know when they talk about being a church, I mean that's a great example, Luke, right? Because of the homeless guy in the street on the streets that I want to change my life, um, I hear you do that, and you you know you help people to better themselves. They would say yeah. you have access to a credit card, checking account. They would never in a million years even give him a drink of water. The lovely ladies from Brightfully Good Paranormal say hey guys. Hey guys. Hello. How are you all? Super day. Good day. Someone's standing there smoking on your porch right now, so yeah, just turn around and say hello to him. Well, I don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's having some paranormal experiences. Look at him. <laughs>
<laughs> he's taking he's taking the earphone out. Look at him. Are you right, Jeff? No, I'm not. There's like crazy noises I've never heard going. I told you there's a man there like, smoking what? a cigarette. <laughs> Behind you, I told you there's a man behind you smoking we have a very special guest. Uh, she is a legend in Australian <laughs> pop dance music, Miss Katie Underwood. How are you today? Welcome. I'm, I'm very well. I'm very well. Come danger, on. danger, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's Katie Underwood. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Pippi Le Pew may have been highly flirtatious and mildly annoying, but at no point do I ever recall him throwing a rowie in her drink or pinning her down or dragging her into bushes <laughs> and saying, take this bitch or you die. Okay. You know what? It's share time now. And I can think of no one better to share with than our guest today. She is an actress, a writer, a playwright, a singer, a dancer, all things amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us, Miss Dagny Kerr. Hi, Dagny. Hello. How Hi, are Katie. you? I love Bravo. that intro. She, she was snapped. crazy. <laughs> I was watching her, and I'm like, I thought Buffy was a bitch. I was Thank like, you. She wasn't doing anything wrong. I'd have been pissed. I'd have beat the Vampire Slayer's ass if she'd have left God on my nightstand. Like, Thank I, you, Jeff. So. 